it's just nice to have a doctor sit across from you and say, here's the thing, you're right, this is the, this is the right decision you're making, and you've come to the right place, and here's why. All right, everybody, time now for your showbiz buzz. My name is Chilia Mar, and I am the co-host of the morning show here at 97.1 Wash FM. I'm married, and I have a toddler. He's almost three, so he's a handful. I was born and raised in the D.C. area, so I'm a local girl. My mom was a, a stay-at-home mom, and, you know, not a day went by when we didn't know just how much she loved us. learned that she had tested positive for BRCA2, which had put her in the highest, you know, high risk for breast and ovarian cancer. My mother died of ovarian cancer. We lost her right after her 59th birthday. I went and had my test done. My phone rang. I took the call and she said, I just wanted to call and tell you that we got the test results back and I'm so sorry. I'm really, really hoping. You're positive for the gene. This is actually a wonderful thing that you know this because there's something you can do about this and not repeat your mother's story. I did not want our stories to be the same. And I want to go ahead and have a hysterectomy. I went with Dr. Paul McCool. To me, it was the obvious choice after speaking with other doctors. And there are two things right off the bat that sort of set him apart from my other consultations. With Dr. McCool, he assured me, because he said, you're a type A personality, I'm sure you'll be fine within a week. But just to be safe, if you feel more comfortable, fine, take a couple weeks off work. The other thing that was different with Dr. McCool's consultation is he literally drew a little diagram of what was gonna happen so that I could visually see what was going to be taken out. We both discussed what the best option would be, and then he showed me where the incisions would be. Where I place the incisions makes all the difference in the world because their dual port GYN technique, basically the one in the belly button and one lower, kind of near where my C-section incision is, avoids the ab muscles completely. And so I'm not gonna have that kind of pain and soreness and restrictions that I would have with the other procedure. And it was that moment that I was like, ah, now I get it. The other thing that prevented me from moving forward sooner was my fear of menopause. Ooh, the M word. Because up until then, I would hear stories about hot flashes and night sweats and mood swings. And I'm thinking, oh geez, my husband's gonna divorce me and I'm gonna be miserable. He immediately said, there are ways to deal with menopause. You know, we could do so many things to help alleviate any of those symptoms, so that really shouldn't be a fear of yours. And in that moment, I knew, no doubt, that I was going to use a Dr. McCool. As soon as I walked through the door and I was met by the staff and in the waiting area, I was holding my husband's hand and I was pretty calm considering at that point. Um, my anxiety level was a lot lower than I thought it would be because I had been talked through it. You know, I knew exactly what was gonna happen. I knew exactly what to expect so that there wouldn't be any surprises. It was a Friday morning surgery. Saturday morning, I woke up and I was like, hmm, I don't feel like pain that I thought I would for incisions. And I was kind of afraid to even look and see what it looked like. And I looked down and I was like, this is a couple of Band-Aids. By Monday, I was completely off the pain meds, ibuprofen, everything. I mean, it was kind of crazy to think, I don't even need Advil, like I'm, I'm good. Five days after surgery, I'm driving, I'm running an errand. It's remarkable how much better I feel and yet he just did this major surgery on me. For anyone who is concerned about scarring, I dare you to find mine. For the first time since 2005, when my own mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, I knew there's no way that my story was gonna be the same as hers. I absolutely would recommend the Center for Innovative GYN Care. From beginning to end, it was probably one of the best decisions I made for myself because I felt like the doctor was so informed of 
anything that I told him. It's a gift when you actually can control an outcome. And that's what I've done here by eliminating my risk of ovarian cancer. That is your showbiz buzz for today.